Good day. It is December 5th, 2015, and I'm in my shop building some vertical grow towers for my greenhouse. And I will include the links below so you can go see how the other people are building these up. They have really good instructions, so there's really no sense of me going through that. What I ran into was I, I wanted to use these cloning inserts to hold the seedlings. And I did some searching online and I went down to my local hydroponics store. And this is one that I purchased from that vendor. The problem, I had two problems. The first problem was, or is, for the towers I've made, these inserts are just a, a little bit too small. They're close, but no cigar. These are two inch. The other problem I had is that these inserts are 55 cents a piece. So this particular tower has 18 cells or 18 openings. So 18 times 55 cents, phew, way too much money. Come on, we can do better than that. I searched online and the best I could come up with is like 42 cents buying, I don't know, 100 of them. There's $42. I, I have four towers and I just, I'm trying to keep the cost as low as possible here for these experiments that I'm doing in the greenhouse. So what I did, uh, I got on eBay and I found this closed cell polyethylene foam. It's just a little harder than the foam that I got from the hydroponic store. Now you can buy these in different uh, densities. This one here feels kind of soft to me. I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, this is a little tougher. Not much, a little tougher. In any case, I got four of these sheets for $9.50 delivered. And that's 12 by 12. And from each 12 by 12 sheet, I can get 33 of these inserts that fit really good. I like that. Very pleased how that fits. Now that works out to seven cents each, which I can live with. So I've made a bunch of them and this is the scrap from making 33 inserts. And I'll show you the process here. It's really quite simple. Doesn't take very long and uh, a whole lot less money than paying 55 cents each. Like I said, this is really easy to do. This is a thin sheet of plywood and this is a two and one eighth inch hole saw. And I bored a hole down through it. As you can see, I broke out the side there. But it really doesn't make a difference. So now I take the, the template I've made and I position it on the foam. I take my cordless drill and you want to cut the foam in reverse. You don't want to cut forward. You put the in reverse. Cuts much better. And the plywood serves as a guide going down. And then I take a small screwdriver and I just pop them up. So there's one insert. Then I take and reposition it as close as I can to the edges. So there's a minimal waste. Now, if by chance they don't cut out like this one hasn't, you just flip it over. I take an X-Acto knife, finish the cut, and there it is. And that's the waste. So now I have two inserts. So we'll go on to the next step.
Okay, so I have those two inserts that I just cut out. But I just happen to have a little hole here in my piece of plywood. So I just sort of center that over the hole, take an awl, and punch down through. Okay, on to the next one. I just get it, eyeball it, push down through. There's step two. Okay, one more step. Now you'll see on the one I purchased from the hydroponic store, it's got this slit, a couple slits there so you can put your seedling in there. So I found the easy, I mean you can do this probably a hundred different ways. You could take a serrated knife and make a cut. But I found that the easiest way for me is just to use my jigsaw. And I just cut into the punched hole. There's one. Again, I just cut into the punch hole. Back out, spread it a little bit so I can see where I cut. Back out. There you go, they're done. So you can make 10 of these or 100 of these uh, pretty quickly and easy. So this, this string will simulate a seedling. And I take this and I, I'll spread these open a little bit. And it'll, it'll stay there for a second. I just kill my seedling. I put the seed, seedling down inside. Close it up, and this will go right in the tower. So now I have the seedling in the insert. I come over to the tower. Put it back up there a little bit so you can see. And in it goes. A little bit of water. Back on the tower here for just a moment. What I did was deliver the nutrient solution to the top of the tower, I had purchased a drip irrigation kit from Harbor Freight some time ago. It was on sale. It was like $9, 100 feet of tubing, all the fittings, yada, yada, yada. Uh, good price. So I've used the tubing, and I just glued on a little piece of PVC here to, to hold the tubing. And I tried to think of some clever way to support the tubing at the top and it it just occurred to me I had some of this pipe strapping and the tubing fit in the larger holes perfectly so that's what I'm using and I can bend this and change the position as I want and that seems to work pretty good these hooks here that I'm going to use to hook on a bar down in the greenhouse uh, they're nothing more than these S hooks or J hooks or whatever you want to call them. I save them uh, from dried out rubber bungee straps. Uh, again, you get them at Harbor Freight. They dry out in a year, but I always save these and I just straighten them out, heat them up, rebend them, and that seemed to work pretty good. And this is tower number four, by the way. So that's my project for this weekend. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.